Okay, so our next step is to add an enemy to the maze. So let's go ahead and select a sprite. Let's go ahead into here. And if you remember, I talked about picking sprites that have movements. And uh, I don't know, I can't see it, but I know that this bat has two, this bat has two costumes. So I'm gonna select that bat. It's gonna be a little bit too big for my maze. So we're going to shrink it about, that's probably good. I'm gonna have it go around the circle here. It's gonna patrol around this general direction here. So, so it's gonna be important. Oh, look at that, that fits nicely in there like that. All right, so I am going to then go over to motions and I'm going to select glide. Because glide means that it's going to move um, smoothly so i want that for that bat since it's a flying object so let's go ahead and do that one and then i'm going to click this when the green flag is clicked i want you to show let's see what show there it is when the green flag is clicked i want you to show and forever we're going to put a loop start right there where i just put it if you remember remember um the places that you move your sprite is uh, recorded into the X and Y's um, uh, little spots here. So, for example, look, I'm going to move the bat to another location that I want it to show. That would be about here. So, that one. I want it to come over here. So, this one. See how the X and Y numbers keep changing as I change the sprite? So this is not going to be a rectangle. This is sort of a circle that I'm making here. And it's taking a long time because one second per glide is a little bit too much. So maybe I'm going to have to change that to a half a second or less than half a second. We'll see. Um, so yeah, so it depends on how you want your sprite to move. I want mine to make a circular type of motion. And so that's why I am sort of having too many now. So it's going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 11 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 seconds to go around. So I don't know. That looks kind of good, though. Why do you pause there? Oh, OK. So I don't need that one. I only need 9. I only need 9 because it passed there because it register two two same movements the first one and the last one I didn't need that I do not need that so there it goes it's nice and smooth if I wanted it to move a little faster I may want to change this one second to half or 0.75 or 0.75 but I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a while so now I want it to start flapping its wings because when you look at the costumes here you see how it has a bat A and a bat B so it can flap its wings so Let's go ahead and do that, but we're going to put it in a different string because I already have too much here. So let's go ahead and click on control, then forever, and then in forever, I'm going to do, I'm going to do something here. I want you to point towards Jixer, the cat, point towards Jixer, and I want you to uh, switch costumes from bat A and I want you to wait uh, before you flip your wings again oh look at that do you see that problem right there just now we're gonna have to fix that and uh, bats move their wings fast so one second is not gonna do it let's try 0 0.001 of a second and then another bat switch costume here switch costume to bat B that should do it Okay, so you guys remember this problem right here? Remember to check into the eye and switch it to the double-headed arrow like that. Okay, now when I click the green flag, it's going to start flapping its wings. And did you see how it turned around and faced the cat? Now, it would not do that all the time because it does it only when it starts the loop. Like this, for example. Oh, no, it does it really well. Look at that. Okay. There it goes. All right, so... Now we have a flapping bat. And isn't that cool? All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do on our next video 
is to add a collectible. 